the tap, and Edie easily controls Rap. Take it away. All right, Jim. That's great. Right now, this thing goes a little. Wait a minute. And they think it will go inside eventually. Yeah, he take long, did it? Here he is. Edie over John with the left hand. Just a little too much force, and it's going the other way. In that first possession, they opted Penn State to play a little man-to-man, -man, sagging off the passer there. Expect Shrewsbury to, to give a lot of looks defensively to Edie on that blow block. And they add on that, they forced him to the counter move. Yes. Uh, it wasn't quite as effective as coming over that left shoulder. Winter in for a moment. Purdue, put, Purdue having go. Newman <laughs> on picket, their best perimeter defender. The switch now with Lawyer. They're going to take advantage. Here he is. Pickett loves to work it, but he's going to take it outside. And he hits his opening shot. Coming up 28 and eight rebounds and four assists. I mean, I'm serious, Raph. He's like you. He's a throwback. Oh. <laughs> the way he plays. I love this game. It's unbelievable. How do you contain him? You're going to have to really double force him to fan dribble. They get Edie way away from the basket. Well, he can make people disappear down there. Nice extra look to Norman. Newman takes it in, pulls up too strong. Could have probably gotten a little closer to the hole. Could have got a layup on that. Yeah, right. He could have blamed Jerry on that one. There's the jumper by Winter, and the Nittany Lions hit their first two shots. They are a confident group on that offensive end. Big pro influence, don't you think? Oh, no question. Coach Shrewsbury from his time in Boston with the Celtics and Brad Stevens. You see it in their offense and their confidence. Here's Gillis first to whistle. Went 30 and 13, and then 18 and 13. They beat Penn State double digits both times. That's Edie. Not much you can do, really. Of course, Michael Hinn checked in the game, giving up a lot of length in terms of Edie. So he just takes his time and gets to his spot, Raph. Now, the best thing you can do is really harass the passer and really hug him, force them to put it on the deck, take away some vision. you got to help your big guy. There he goes again. Pick it. Goes nice. back outside. Look at him. Loads up a three. Now all Purdue underneath. Quick outlet. Uh, Hen can make those at 12 this year. Ooh, oh, he got a foul. Got away with it. There's Edie. Decided to go back out with it. Swing it around to the other side. Get it down on the blocks. Top of the key. Smith way short. Going the other way. Down three pointers. If they hit three pointers at the efficiency as they did yesterday, they have a chance to really do well offensively. Uh, Gillis had nine against them at Purdue. So we'll look for that kick out to him, get him going. There's Pickett. That one down and out. Smith, one of the shorter guys on the floor, zips ahead. A little extra dribble, I think, cost Fletcher an open look. Edie, they collapse two on him quickly. Nice Houses kick. Back out to Newman. Hits the jumper. Uh, that's the gamble you take. Uh, Newman starts making those, or Morton when he comes in, or Gillis. And you've got a long afternoon. There's Funk. Great shooter, off the mark that time. Smith again races ahead. They push it quickly. And they've been running this to, well, how about that? There's a whole three guys there. Smith right there at the rim is good to work. Lawyer, it goes. Expect to see him maybe two on pickets during this game. Right. They've been switching it up a little bit. They have been. And Newman, as you noted early, starts with them. They are not letting them shoot the three. Running them off if they can. And that closed down. Pickett feels the presence of the oh, big man. Shot. Goes high up with it. It's short. How about that contest? <laughs> big, big fella. Gonna try it again. Smith driving it this time. Sends it out to Newman. Gillis, as you said, nine threes in the second matchup against Penn State for 29 points. Gonna try the left hand. And again, that's off the back of the rim. He, they got numbers here if they're up before he gets down there. This is, he loves this. <laughs> Schoolyard. Here's Hen. He's trying one from out here. And now a second one doesn't drop. Now, you mentioned those nine threes with Gillis. So that's, that was a Mackey record. Beat Robbie Humble. As you know, of course, those Big Ten Network. Elite Purdue company right there. Yeah. 
Carson Edwards, another guy that had eight. That's Newman. Yeah, got a whistle underneath at the center position. Him to the bench. First on the floor, excellent rebounder and cutter. This is what they love to run, but nice stand up. Funk helped out on the roll. Jenkins also in for Purdue. He's had a big tournament. That's Edie with the hook. Goodness. They kind of cleared out the whole side with that action, so he had really no one to come and help. Matt Painter does a great job of creating different looks to get the ball inside to Edie. Penn State hit his first two shots, missed its last five. This kid can dance in that lane. He is a tough out to contain. That's Clary. Right, yeah. And the rebound goes to Edie. That's six straight misses now for the Nittany Lions. And really no really clean looks from deep. They've done a nice job. Jenkins, again, he's had a hot hand in Chicago. How about this kid with some confidence? 22nd of the year. Team oriented, willing to concede and run the show. Pass snapped outside and thrown away. Tough throw, trying to find Clary. Three the night before on Friday night. Three for three it was, actually, against Rutgers. Those were big threes. Rutgers was gaining momentum. He's unafraid. Nice cover on that weak side. Well, he sticks those legs down, plants himself. Needy. There's Jenkins again that time. Comes up short. A little disorganized that trip. So this Purdue defense has yielded seven nice straight cut. stops until now as Bunk is wide open underneath. And that's the lift too. A lot of availability with dribble drive and cuts. Nice opportunity dive to the rim. First basket in five minutes for Penn State. A little ball screen. See they stay at home with Dread. I like the way they handle that, Grant. There's first. And they, they did a great job zoning up. Everybody kind of touching Edie there, making them force it out to the corner there. Lundy says, uh-oh, nice the big guy's there. And again, that's the presence of Edie forcing that turnover. And you had mentioned how good Morton's on D. This kid really understands and reads. Back and in on Jai. And another hook shot goes. Well, he's developing a little range on that. Bob who breaks you'll never re your dad would remember University of Washington first hook shot I ever saw in the old days of course later on we saw uh, Kareem the sky hook the sky hook so effective unguardable tough shot so Lundy long with that attempt oh he's just backing his guy right down snap it to the corner and they'll play the perimeter game here Checking to see if Edie ever gets open. There they give it to him. Good night. Yes. Wow, this kid. Smith is really playing solid. Loves to give the ball up. Really a talented kid as he drives that lane. And Jim, you mentioned about Edie and his presence. Like Pickett can't really inside dominate like he does just because Edie's size is a problem. Jai lost control underneath, was set up to maybe do something. Now, this is what he does so well, backing and backing in on the freshman. And nice. then Smith almost takes it, leaving the open shot. And Edie with the pull down. Penn State has its biggest tournament deficit, playing the fourth game in four days. Never been down more than six here in Chicago until now. And by the way, Smith does not back down. What a tough competitor this kid is. First, everything oh, but move. Everything but yeah, the shot. Pretty nice drop step. Probably got a little too much underneath the rim. They've not let Funk get a look yet. Penn State can't get any threes open, really. Penn, Purdue doing a great job guarding the line. Pick it. Working it, working it, working it. Once again, Edie's presence there. Totally influencing yeah. that. No question. Is that little dribble handoff, roll to the box, and bang. To Jenkins. Out of bounds. A travel, they call it. Lady. Away from the ball.
basketball, all the traffic concentrating on Edie. Well, you know Purdue has seen it all throughout the regular True. season, so they are prepared. Penn State shooting only 25%. It's Clary. Trying to drive and kick back, but staying at home. Everybody's containing. We'll see if they attack the basket now with Edie on the bench, Penn State. Here's Clary again in the traffic. Damn, excellent defense. Good defense by Kaufman Reed there. That expects a bright future from him. And more minutes at some point. Big man you. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is outside. He can make a couple of threes too, Ren. Underneath battle for it. Look at that. That's Gillis. A little bang. Just to think he could have been a baseball player. Now he missed his senior year and freshman year, like almost two years with a knee operation. He's come back. Redshirt year when it comes to Purdue. He does a lot of a lot of things that maybe you don't even appreciate all the time. There's Winter and Penn State. I couldn't give up anything for 900 days, I assure you. <laughs> Basket in four minutes. A nice little double stagger to get him going. Boyer, that is. Nice bite. Get it to Jenkins. And he is so confident. He's a he's a score. What a luxury to have him off the bench. You have freshmen starting in the backcourt. You bring a senior experience like him into the game. If you're Matt Painter. Now Winter, having just hit a three from the corner, they go with it. Dread with another one. And again, this team has a chance today to set the all-time single season record for most threes in the Big Ten. Moving in on a mark that belongs to Purdue. And they're not going to change. Micah told us they're going to stay true to their philosophy. A little triple drive kick, set it up. Nice replace. There's Gillis. That long rebound lands in the hands. Gillis hit nine three-pointers in one of their games this season. Yeah, against against this Penn State. Against, per, against Penn State, yes. So another go by Dredd. Oh, they've got three threes the last three times down the floor. Yeah, it'll it'll get you it, healthy. It will, and Pickett just baits you. He backs you down, forces you to collapse, and finds the hot hand. Boy, they tighten things up in a hurry. They do. Those threes, again, an open look. And, and why not? Jenkins has another one of his own, his second of the game. Uh, we talked yesterday about how much the program has embraced this kid. You can see why. Great leadership qualities and confidence to knock shot and still run the show for them. So Penn State finally able to hit from outside. They've done it in a bunch. Uh, and also doing it with Edie on the bench. Madrid. And bring it up 54 3, that tough shot there. That was Pickett. A nice challenge by Newman. Jenkins. Good ball movement here. Gillis cradles it, puts it up. Oh my goodness. How did that go? Uh, different look, of course, with Wren on the ball game. A little dribble drive opens it up. Pickett feeds the corner, and Clary along with the open. A nice tip by Lawyer there to keep it alive. Everybody stays at home. Oh, goodness, a little double. I don't think you have to. Gillis now looking to go back inside. Got a ball fake on that pass. Three to shoot. Lawyer sees it, launches it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, he's been struggling. He deserves that. He put his arms up. Hallelujah. When you're in a pinch, let it go. Let it fly. Call Lawyer. Uh, <laughs> I had to do Very it. Very good. Beat you to it. Larry stuck underneath. Now Funk. He's got another shot from the inside. He made two baskets right underneath. And that's important. Funk has struggled in the matchups this year with Purdue. Not settling, attacking there, getting to the paint as Edie's on the bench. A 
Lawyer from those baseline bumps. It's Lawyer again. He does have a great release. Quick. Almost a turnover here. Finally, it's going to Purdue. Finally, the under eight. You see that Edie's back in with his eight points and five rebounds. Got a big break. It's a long time between whistles in that last sequence. And the rebound bounces out to Winter. And Raph, let's see if right now Michael Shrewsbury, after this timeout, can run a set to get Lundy going. Got it. And look at, they just leave him alone, too. Good now. What a mistake that was. Almost looks like a zone look here. No, straight man. We can't drop off these guys. Winter fouled in the act of a three by Morton. And again, bracket season. You'd be surprised. I never win. Impressive wins, and then all of a sudden, they catch fire, and they get six quad one wins in the last 17 days. I think it's that guy right inside. His presence, his calmness, just his relaxed way and demands, too. Oh, There's Edie. Oh, forget about it. Got it the second time. That's not fair. And that's an area of his game where he's really dominated his offensive rebounding, second chance opportunities. But I thought, like the trap they had, they just got to secure the rebound. So all those recent wins, quality wins, underneath they go to Lundy. Nice cut. Oh, there's Jai left alone. That's going to lead uh, Penn State to probably somewhere like a 9 10 seed, somewhere in that range. Of course, Purdue. In all likelihood, locked in now as a one on the one line. How about that pass by Lundy, by the way? Or Smith. Hesitate. Ooh, he didn't protect the ball. Unlike him, really. Offensively by Purdue. Not a mix up here. That's going to send Edie to the line. It's on picket. He can't He's, believe it. He thought it was all ball. Yeah. go after him. What's interesting, he has less than two fouls a game that he creates. And look at this. I mean, bumps and bruises. Maybe he should have stuck to hockey. <laughs> ah, they got the second one. You mentioned the, the Glenn Robinson era. They have three times they've been a number one seed in the tournament. One of those years, of course, was with Robinson. They were 88, 94, and 96. So today we expect them when the uh, exclusive live announcement is made on CBS for the bracket and the reveal. It'll be the first time in 27 years Purdue's on the one line. And it'd be the first time that Matt Painter coaching a Purdue team. Because all those three, I think Gene Cady exactly. is coaching those great Purdue ball clubs. And talk about Glenn Robinson. I think he had a loss in Knoxville to somebody we know well, Jim. There's Morton. And I think somebody we know well, Jim, was on the call during that game. <laughs> Winter trying to get away from Morton. And now Lundy, who's had a quiet first half, not made a shot from the field. Tough to get a three off the dribble. <laughs> nice rebound. That's going to be on Edie. And this program, of course, uh, richly in that in, involved in it uh, over the years. Look at this matchup here. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody walks in the building to see basketball for the first time, they say, what the heck is going on here? Just yes, to beat the shot clock. And and that was Pickett. And away from traffic, too. He is so wily. Good recovery, too. Oh, they got to reach in. Big dread. And there's a reach in called on Lundy. Position like he did early in his game. And they're circling him, too, with more than one on occasion. Occasionally three. There's three. We got another one to go. Time. Eating now with 13 points. Go along with six rebounds. And I love this. Edie guarding Clary. Clary. I love this. <laughs> Take him. <laughs> Little show. 
Good luck with that. <laughs> He's going to get dizzy trying to guard him. Monday will try it though. Oh, oh what a nice move. He can play. Yeah, he can play. Threes and going left strong. Seth Lundy's first points. He's been averaging 17 a game here in the tournament. Really a well-rounded game. A floater and all to boot. Jenkins, favorite spot on the floor, and that's why. And Smith finds him. Tardy response on the defensive end. He just hits big momentum threes for his team. There it is. And fun pick and pop, but he can't get kicked back a little late, though. And again, Edie away from the basket, and it goes through the hands of Clary. See if they can get a two for one. It's interesting, uh, Jim, college guys don't really look for it on a consistent basis. Nice replacement here. Smith. Look at this rebound. Tapped. Edie was able to maneuver and tap it over to where he could retrieve it. That is an athletic maneuver. But a big fella. Going to get another chance here. Underneath, oh. it. that's going to count. And they moved. Offensive rebound. They're going to call a timeout, Matt. Well, Grant, I might trap this ball screen. Get it to Jenkins, and the shot doesn't drop. Nice rebound. <laughs> that sounded familiar. <laughs> I did that for you. Shades. <laughs>to next week that can win you championships and get you to the final four when you have a guy who can come in and give you that kind of lift. And then they got Newman starting two and you got Lawyer and Smith. I mean they are really tough in that backcourt they get it Perkins. There's Bunk. First really good look he's got. And that's again Edie tapping it and controlling it. They've done a nice job on the ball screen though uh, Penn State. A little different look now. Expect the rip screen to get him back down in the block. Yeah, there's that pin down and curl. He just makes you disappear. Ball saved nicely by Winter. And the Nidley Lions take it away. His first turnover committed by Purdue in 11 minutes of action. Here we go, Charles. Barkley, that is, obviously. Here's Lundy. <laughs> he was like Barkley back in the day, oh back and down. God. A much larger derriere, I might have. <laughs> Gillis. He's been practicing that all during halftime. Finally gets a look. 0 for 2 from 3. Finally nails one. He didn't even hit a basket yesterday. He didn't care. Had one rebound, no points. But he's got now in this one, Lundy with that shot. Has seven on the game. Nice pass. Lundy fouled on the way up. Role players and obviously the college basketball player of the are revealed that they'll be on that one line for the first time in 27 years. And it was interesting talking to Matt this week here. He told us, you know, the last, what did he say? The last six years, they've been between a two and a five every year. The two to five. Consistency. I was now just they're taking say, it up a notch. Yeah. Tells you about the program. It's in good hands. Nice extra look. Spending on the run. Again, he keeps it alive. Yeah, Edie. Was, Edie did. He got a hand on it. Kept it. Jenkins working hard for it. Lundy got a hand on it. Gill is off the floor. That's able it. to squeeze it out. Back to Edie for the two. And two great plays there. One Edie keeping that possession alive. And how about Gillis getting on the ground, finding the open man. And that's winning basketball on display on that possession graph. Absolutely impressive. Winter with the jumper. And the piece of the lane. Continue that. You're going to get a three look. As Penn State was out to make history today, trying to become the lowest seed to ever win the conference tournament in this, the 25th edition. And they got a cut. A little zone up by four. They got a little put a little nickel dimer. Boy, what a pressure release the big guy is. Gillis. A nice Block challenge. By Pickett into the hands of Lundy. And give it up to him. Lundy driving to the other end and exciting. <laughs> we usually knew where you were going to be. Aggressively and 
That'll be a team you don't want to see in your bracket. They're going to probably be on the four line, I would think, after winning the ACC tournament last night. Continued to improve, didn't they? They did. They long. did. Give credit to John Shire. Great job. Well, Why don't you give the guy a rage? <laughs> <laughs> I know they're out of where they like to start it. Get it inside and work out of there. He's got good hands, too. E.D. tries to flip it in, doesn't go. Off the floor with it is Winter. They can trim into that uh, seven-point deficit. Now, this is a confident team. You catch it, shoot, you're not up on them. Very dodge one. Yeah, we're big. Get it back. They're not big on second chance points. Last in Division One, but they've got three right here. And Raf, you said it best. When you shoot threes like Penn State, you're never out of the ball game at all. 40-36 as Camden Winter hits the three-point shot, and the Nittany Lions have scored the last seven of this game. Once again, when you need something, that's where you go. And Jenkins with the penetration. Getting fouled, scoring, and getting to the line and knocking down a three. And there you go. That's 22. Well, well, he put the head, a little wear a headband. He said, Coach, he, uh, if I can get 20 rebounds in a game, you'll let me wear a headband. He said, Sure. And he said, went right out and got the 20 rebounds. And he said, You know what? I don't want to wear the headband. I want to shoot a three. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is pulling out a rebound. And when he showed up with a headband and practiced that, right? Oh, I yeah. love it. Love that kid. Got nine rebounds. As first tap is round by Edie, and again, Penn State back with it. It's key, I think, first and Gillis making threes for this team. They're going to get looks. There's Lundy with a two. And that's the guy. He is too talented. He's relatively quiet there in the first half, starting to get it going. He can score from multiple levels. Now they are right there. This is a confident team down five. Lundy has eight, six coming since halftime. As lawyer, did a good job replacing. Nice ball fake. Lawyer head fake sets the feet for the three. A little flat on that shot, man. Yeah, really, pretty much so. Got to get him going. Too good a shooter. Continue to chip away impressively by Penn State. And that's going to stay with the Nittany Lions on the other side of the break. He hasn't played it for that long since the 10th grade. Coaching, Quick practice, learner. here's the three. That was dread. Quick learner. Could have brought it down to two had that gone. This has not worked all game. Uh, that little ball screen. They have done a great job communicating the back. Dread on the big guy now. Ed goes back outside with Open Morton. Open from Morton. Yeah, he'll take the three. They gotta get. They gotta make that shot though. They're, people are gonna do that during the tournament. Inbound to Lawyer. And now Smith. That's freshman to freshman. Back court for the Bullermakers. Dropping it down to Ed. Nice off and the glass. And that little late help. Winter come over and scrape, but he's got green upper body strength as well. Three threes today. They did it in a span of two minutes in that first half. Now don't leave your feet in there. Stolen away by Smith. Numbers should get an open look. Newman passes up the shot. First goes in. Scores the basket. He's showing a, a little strength right there. He's strong, this kid. Big time recruit. Yeah, he was another one of those Indiana Mr. Basketballs back in 2021. Yeah, he and Smith, and of course, Morton in Pennsylvania, Mr. Basketball as well. Nice play here. Pick it, and it's going back to Purdue. He's done that spin out a few times. Post ups. Yes, he has. Good footwork. Tough when you play Purdue because when they're stuck, they just get him loaded up in the lane. Another clean look. You're going to keep making that. Eating. Look at the rebound. A rebound and the foul on Penn State. The average is, what, almost 22 points a game, 13 rebounds a game. It's numbers with those two categories the Big Ten hasn't seen since George McGinnis. Oh, wow. How about 50 that? years ago. With the one hand. Remember he used to oh, pop yeah. the ball? 
with three to shoot. Good footwork. Tap. Kept alive and into the hands of Pickett. Finds the trailer. Fung. Out to Newman. Good hustle by Newman. They have been playing small this half. Yeah, it looked like a double dribble there by Newman. Edie's back to the line for two more. He does attract attention. Yeah, this kid is so impressive. Yeah, he just gave it to me. Whoever played in the Big Ten. And he get a little bit of a blow. By the way, we, we hear from Gene's territory. He thought that was a double dribble that was not called. Nice round of applause, Jim. And Grant didn't stand up. That was for Edie. <laughs> I thought it was for Gene. <laughs> exactly. You got to go, I think. Attack now with him out of the game. Dribble driving. Here's him with the three. Hen, who's been playing competitive basketball against this guy right here, Jenkins of Purdue, since they were in the third grade out in the state of Washington. Third graders, they started playing against each other. Jenkins from Tacoma. Hen is from Bellevue. Hen works. He really does. Lose his position defensively. Good check. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I say neck ball. And that. Uh, yeah. Penn State, meanwhile, is in uh, the midst of a third field goal drought of at least four minutes on the clock. The last six points have gone to Purdue. Yeah, playing without the big guy. Nice little curl and a pin down. Boyer, can he beat the clock again? And that's Lundy soaring for the rebound and a foul called. In 2010 and 2011, those teams that made it all the way to the championship game. And then, of course, he followed Stevens to the Celtics. There was a little in-between period with Purdue, and he would return to Purdue just a few years back. There's a close tie, as Tracy has documented. He got fouled, I thought. By the way, that was Howard's screen and Hayward's shot. Remember the end of the one? Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, everybody right. thought that was going in. From I your position, that. I bet you thought it was going in. Matt Howard. Yeah. What a screen. What a set play. There's Newman who had a hot hand yesterday with 15 points. I like this. Newman really plays with some confidence, though. That was a good shot. Gillis tried to save it, but it's going back to Penn State. He thought he had bounced it off. And not make it hey without Ooh, a nice footwork. This kid can play, by the way. Oh, you can see it right there. A freshman out of Sellersburg, Indiana. Average five a game. More size on the way for this team. We know that they've got another guy redshirting. Will Berg out of Sweden. They've just specialized in bringing big guys in. And you never know, maybe Edie comes back. It could happen. Six straight empty trips. Make it. Good defense there by Gillis. Staying attached to Lundy. Oh, How about oh, that oh, shot? Oh, what a goodness. breakdown. Good what? defense, but better offense. Oh, my God. I don't even think he jab stepped, did he? First basket in almost six minutes, and that ends a 9 nothing run. This team has a lot of pride. Took a lot of hits early in the year. What a run at the end. Nice spin. Yeah, the strength. Oh, he almost got another chance for a three-point play that they do with a frequency. What luxury to have a big guy not only do so much on the floor, but can also step up and knock down those free throws. In, yeah. in your days playing, that was a big thing with do. Oh, getting oh, to the line. Yeah, yeah. Then the other making more than the others attempted. Yeah. And that's the case here. To the number one rebounding margin team in the in the whole nation, Division One, and Gillis on the wing. Oh, that looked good from here. We had Diango on it. Smith with a nice push and fun. That's about the hustle by Wren. They try to get it inside to Mahaffey. Wren saw it coming. Played that passing lane. Right now, Purdue just slow things down. Use the clock. Not afraid to get deep into that clock, but there's sets. 
Getting lawyer an opportunity to go back inside to rent. He's been successful. A nice cross screen to get it to him. And, it, and then the curl back by. What a nice play. They do a lot of screening, rescreening, reposting. Some of us could learn from it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Newman drops them both. And the lead back up to 14. That ties the largest lead of the game. They've handled Pickett pretty well, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Man? They have. This kid is an offensive force. I know it's a foul, but I still like the aggressive play. Purdue trying to pull away with eight minutes to go. This initiates that dribble handoff. As Edie returns to the floor. And then he just settles underneath. He's going to be paying Chicago taxes before the weekend's over. Nice help. They compete. I love it. Pick it. Give it up. He does. A good foul, really. I just love that backcourt rotation as well to compliment the big guy. Okay, Penn State. Can they find one more little run here? Try to get back into it as they leave the lane open for Funk. And they moved the big guy. I thought he would do that drop defense, but stayed up on Dredd. Now they're in a little zone action here. Maybe this can slow down Purdue. Shake it up. Not an easy automatic touch. Big thing is make sure you rebound. Force a tough one contest. And all five get to the glass. Yeah, three seconds there. He's camped out in the paint. Outside with three to shoot. They get it over for the three by Smith. Oh, you got to come up with that. Nice Gillis. rebound, Gillis. Saves the possession at this end of the floor. Seven minutes to go. Nice find. He's been working on this. Gillis got another one. Uh, he gets that going. He is such a key guy, I think, on the doubles and all the movements defensively that he's going to see. It's the second one of the half. Giving him 10 points for the game. There's Bunk. Front of the rim. Purdue beat him during the regular season by 13 and by 20. So it's kind of following a similar pattern here again. In that range. The size, obviously, a big time factor. And now it's up to a 17-point lead. Yeah, whatever you need, just throw it in there. How they attack on both ends and the defense they're doing today is fantastic. Could this be the year? I mean, they have a lot of people. A big thing, I think, is making, as you noted early in the game, those open shots. They're going to get good, clean looks. Guys are going to have to step up. There's Lundy. This guy. A tough shot. But Lundy's begging a little bit, too. He wants a dick on that one as well. What an offensive player this kid is. It's a beautiful stroke, isn't it? It is. 2-2-1, two, two, trying to stir it up a little bit. And that's going to be a foul. You know, he has a few things stored up in his mind with that was. But he'll get itchy after the one day. There's no one coaches. <laughs> yeah. They missed a both at the line. Morton. Really not as effective in that lane as we've seen Pickett. And Newman. Nice discard there, got away with it. Good one. I'm surprised he didn't take that shot from the corner. Again, Pickett has not scored in the second half. No field goal. It's back since the final minute of the first half. He's taken three shots, but just got Edie now back on the floor after that timeout. Oh, out of bounds. Penn State. 32% from the field in this half for the Nittany Lions. Here's Pickett. There you go. There's first points and a chance to go to the line. That's more like it. See if they can extend the floor here on a make two. There you go. Nine for the game now for Pickett. A 2-2-1. Two, two, they let guys go sideline the last time. You've got to take away this sideline and force it to the middle. They do a pretty good job here. It's a pressure release right there. Yeah, I would say comfortably. <laughs> Last six points to Penn State. 
Bringing it back from 17 to 11. Can they make a stop? There's Smith. Oh, oh, what a nice look. Good floater, too. Normally a knockdown for that kid. Pickett driving in. Oh, oh, again, that push off for that off arm. Yeah, he's got two of them already. Backing up for the three. Winter, no. We're going to stay with one and one for Andrew Funk, who was a three year starter at Bucknell. We got guys here that have transferred in, giving them all this experience from Bucknell, from Drexel, from Siena. He had a chance to talk to Michael Hinn before the game and played in five different teams. In five years. Five years. Said he enjoyed every one of them. Oh, they've all been great, he <laughs> said. Every school. He actually played in the NCAA tournament, Michael Hinn. 24 is on the bench right now for Cal Davis, his freshman year in 2017. You almost feel out of it. You said you only went to one college. <laughs> <They never went. laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> nice ball movement. Newman picks it back up. That ball deflected. We've got two to shoot for Purdue inbounding. Yeah, nice job with the hands. Bounce it and a shot. Here's a pin down to get a look. Little move. Look at this kid. And they foul him right to the rim. I mean, you. By going 32 and 14 rebounds. And now he's moving in on that again here. I like this kid. Grant. I mean, he, he's about 6'6. Six, six. Penn State hit its first 18 yesterday from the line. They got their first. Got to go over the top. Two seconds to get it across. They don't. The way Penn State shoots the ball from downtown, just get back in it. Pop one Here they three. go with a double. Here he is. That's what you're talking about right there. This kid, what a call from the bench, too. Down to six from 17 not that long ago. They don't have their main guy in right now. Small ball for Purdue. A 13 to two stretch here for the Nittany Lions. And that's the one difficulty playing offense for defense. You get stuck sometimes without your mainstay. Two to shoot. Rebound goes to London. And a foul. And a foul on Purdue. The other thing with him, too, is maybe use him as the pressure release. In the middle of the floor. They've done that Good a few passer. Times. Look, this getting fouled, getting to the line, it gives them a chance once again to set up this pressure. And no time off the clock. Ninth team foul on the Bullermaker, so it's a one and one for the last time. Ooh. And that his first miss over the last two days. They sent that press up too. That's not easy. A little nickel dimer. That's going to be it for Lundy. That's wow. his fifth. He had made 14 free throws over the last two days and then missed the front end and then commits his fifth foul. The Moxie. Eighty-seven percent. We love your point guard to be able to convert. What do you think of this? Uh, youthful backcourt when it gets into the NCAA tournament. Well, when was the last time he had a team make the Final Four with an all-freshman backcourt? Probably since Kentucky. Yeah. The Kentucky Kentucky Kentucky. Twins. Yeah, that's... That was in 2014. Well, Jerry McNamara was afraid of it. Works. It was an underclassman. Uh, Mahaffey takes the feed from Funk. Yeah, that was a Kentucky team that made it all the way to the championship game before UConn. Took the title down in Texas. Shabazz Napier. Yep. Yeah. Nice ball fake by Gillis, too, to free it up. Boy, they're going to miss Lundy, though, for that three point threat. Six down, 2.15 to go. Purdue. See if Funk can get going at the other end. There's Morton. That's off. Tap. No. Tap again. Newman, no. And out with it comes Mahaffey. Use Pickett. Go. Strong. This guy is so gritty. 
he can put this team on his on his back over the last 155 and pull up magical things. He has. He can. He has. It was interesting on the closeout. Gillis took the high side, opened up the baseline, told him where to go too. Went over a thousand points in his Penn State career yesterday. 2,200 points in his career overall in college, Siena and Penn State. He's done this all year long. Two big points right there, Raph. They are knocking at the door, these kids. Trying to keep Smith out of it. Who would have guessed they get it back to four? It was 17 at one point late in this game. And Purdue has not hit a basket in four and a half. They got the three-guard look. Edie's got to get a touch if he's in here. It was 17 with six minutes to go. They get it to him. Good job. I forced him to kick it. Look at this kid. Though. Oh, 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 Will, that time. Triple team. And how about that? And up and under. What an armful. And there's Bunk. Long. Nice hit. rebound. The lawyer is fouled. Edie just said, put it in my hands, and I will will my way to the basket, even with three defenders on him. He didn't have any room with the footwork, though. He had a little ball fake and then that little step through. Boy, you can see he's worked at that. A slithery move. <laughs> lacking deception, but beautiful finish. He's got back to back 30 and 10 performances. 30 points, 12 rebounds is the case here. How about his team struggling? Penn State on a, on a bit of a run there and just makes the right play, big time play. A slippery eel action like Kevin McHale. <laughs> <laughs> Up and under. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, lawyer 81% too from free throws. And Edie comes out. It's a, it's a big free throw here. If he makes it, then it's a three possession game. Oh, this them both. That's a shock. Go quick. Off the dribble, you might get a three. Attack. Clary. Underneath, Steps. and he traveled, uh, trying Wren. to make a head fake on Wren. Good point, Jim. Wren really there. Great protection of the rim. He just walled him up. He didn't try to do too much. Just be big. Put your arms up. And as you said it best, Clary dragging that foot. To break the soft pressure and get it back out high. Still got a trap here. Smith backs up two not, on him. Not going to foul now, I don't think. 12 to shoot. Yeah, play this one out next shift. They're going to have to. Smith circles around, looks for help. Where else do you Here's go? Here's your help. Short with it and plucked out of the air by Jai. Look, he lost the ball going into that hook shot. Uh -huh. And they hit a big three, or will they take the two? Pick it. Right back to him. A timeout, timeout called smart and if you have only 25 seconds to work with score and get the press set that pass almost stolen Pickett takes it back outside but better passes would have got an easy look there you go Good here it is dread down the three with 15 seconds got a cut of your purdue they got let's see if they're gonna give it they nice steal. Oh my goodness. Back to winner off the glass down the one with 10 seconds. What is going on here? Got a perfect trap there, too. I thought they got a timeout, Matt yeah. Painter. Yeah. With 6.4 seconds to go. A timely timeout at that. Oh, wow. Got a, a call here. I, I think maybe against Michael. Clary. Lawyer, who just missed two, he's going to get two attempts here. Second one oh. rattles out. Now Here come know. the Nittany Lions looking for some history and a timeout call with 3.3 seconds. How about this? To come back from 17 down, unimaginable. Let's see what happens. It's Pickett to inbound. Ball's deflected on the inbounds pass. There is Winner. Double. Winner has to put it up. It's walked. They called the walk. He traveled trying to regain control. There's Morton. You got it, Grant, right? To eat I got it. I, I got, got it right here. Nice catch. <laughs> My last big ten game. Yeah, the basketball. Big nice game. <laughs>